friends, this is Renee from Little Village Homestead and I was invited by Sherry from Two Family Homestead to do a my favorite holiday dessert collaboration and I will have a link in the description below that will link you to the playlist so that you can watch all the other videos and all the other you know channels that partook in this so anyway Miss Mo and I did my favorite which is pumpkin rolls and we had a ball so let's go see how everything turns out Yeah, I'll you do, do all that, right? Yeah, I'll just, I'll do an introduction. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to um, use wax paper to line our pan with. First of all, we're going to spray it with a, um, a canola oil spray. Um, let's see, spray it in line with wax paper. I don't know why, but it, it just helps it come out uh, much easier. So I'm going to step over here. This thing has never really come out in a good spray. It works. Yeah. So we're... I, well, you know what I did last time? I cut this wax paper to fit. In half? Yeah. There you go. We're going to cut the wax paper to fit into our jelly roll pan here so the cake uh, fits evenly. It's just like a little sponge cake, basically, that we're going to make for the pumpkin rolls. Oh, that's perfect. So it Get just that. fits in like this. So you can see that. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to spray the, the wax Top. paper again. So because when we take this pumpkin roll out of the oven, and it's, we just want it to come right out onto the towel that we're going to lay it on. So... We'll set this aside. Uh, I better not set it by the, the dish water. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to start with our pumpkin roll. And it takes, I'll read off the recipe, and if you want to uh, put it in, Renee. You betcha. Yeah. Okay, it, can, it takes three quarter cup of flour. Here, I'll give you that. Three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, you know, and you just kind of rough up the flour because I keep it in a a container, a large container. Yep. Does that look like? Yeah. About. That looks about three quarter cup. Almost. Okay, three quarter cup. Yep. Of flour, and then the next one is a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of soda. And a half a soda. Half a teaspoon of half a teaspoon of soda. There we go. These over here. Yeah. Can you get it? Let me get it. That sticks. Oh, you do have strength. No. <laughs> uh, and then a uh, quarter teaspoon of salt. Right here? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Now, <coughs> you'll add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'll put the lid back uh, on. Yeah, I'll just set it on there. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And that's right. Cinnamon, yeah. that's cloves. Oh, that's cloves? Yeah, that's okay. That was a little dark. Yeah. All right, so we need a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. That would be this one. I love your jars. Yeah, they're all old antique jars. A lot of them from my grandmother's basement. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of ground cloves. 
But you know what, Renee? Let's do a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Okay. Quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. And then a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, which has all the spices in it, you know, uh, cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg. So that'll just give it a little extra oomph. Cloves can be overpowering sometimes. So then the next, I can work in one square inch. <laughs> Okay, cloves and the salt. So now uh, we'll just mix this you up. Want to whisk that up a little bit? Yep, mix that up a little bit. The whisking. Whisk yeah. the, it's the new sifting. Uh -huh. Have oh, you yeah. heard that yet? That, no, what's it? That's the new sifting? That's what they call the new sifting. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so it says the. Okay, we got to get another container here for the egg. All right, that's all sifted up. set the flour aside and next we're gonna crack eggs crack three eggs into the bowl there we go this one your compost bucket yep egg, egg shells are great for compost Three eggs, one cup of sugar. There's your cup of sugar. Okay. And here's the mixer. We're going to use uh, a modern convenience here. Oh, I like your mixer. It's quiet. Mine it sounds like a freight train coming. <laughs> we're going to beat that up until nice and thick. Okay, how does that look? Thicker or? That's good. That's good. And now it takes two thirds cup of a pu of pumpkin. Okay, two thirds cup of pumpkin. Yeah, I just use two of the ones. Yeah. Yep. And I got my little here's a little here. Oh, I was gonna say. Is there a smaller one in there? I'll yeah, use there's that smaller one. ones. Yeah. So you beat in the pumpkin. Two thirds a cup. It's a really simple recipe, even though it seems like it's a lot. It it's. You know, of course, you could probably just use all pumpkin pie spice. It would be up to you to experiment uh, with it, how pumpkin or spicy you'd like it. Okay, so she, I got that. Yep, she's just, you can just leave it stuck right oh, in the can. Yeah, there we we're go. going to be doing this. Three. And mix this all up? Uh-huh. Ooh. I've never, ever made pumpkin eggs. And I love to, I just wait for two to go here. She won't give me a recipe, she won't make them with me, because it's a big top secret. <laughs> okay, that's, I like it. That's good. And now we're just going to combine the two. A uh, little at a time? Yep. And then, ju yep, just stir it in and kind of whisk it. You got your... Yep. Whisk. I've got a small one here. Too. I'll do a couple, a little bit at a time. Okay. This is good. Yep, that's one I used earlier. Yeah. Okay. Yep, she's just going to whip that in, or whisk that into the mixture. You see, it doesn't take very long. If you have everything prepared and, um, uh, you know, ready for when you're I'm just going to. There you go. Yeah, that is pretty easy. Yeah, very easy. And then. Okay. And we're just going to put it into our jelly roll pan. Uh, it, it calls for a 15... I don't want to put this in here. Cause no, a 15 by 10 uh, jelly roll pan. I'm going to just set it right on top of the flour. There you go. Just pour it right yeah. on in there. Just pour it right on in. 
kind of smooth it out. It's a beautiful batter, so colorful, nice and golden, like a pumpkin color. Now, we have everything, correct? The mm -hmm. flour, baking powder, soda, cinnamon, cloves, yep. little uh, pumpkin pie spice, yep. salt, eggs, and sugar. And okay. the pumpkin, most important. You set that there. Pumpkin. Turn this around so I can see. Yeah, it. Just, just lightly, spread it up. Yeah, put it into the corners. And we're going to bake it in the oven, a 375 degree oven. Okay. Do we tap it at all? Um, you might a little. There you go. That's good. Now just pop it in. Pop it in. in. Yep. There it goes in the oven. Yep, into the oven. There we go, and it bakes for 13 minutes. Okay, and then when that's done, friends, we'll be back. We're back. Okay. You have a clean kitchen towel prepared for when the cake comes out of the oven. And, it and then out. you sprinkle it with um, powdered sugar. We're going to see the cake. It's like a little sponge cake. We're going to loosen the sides gently. Or not. And just flip it over or what? Yep. Oh look it fell right out. Yep. Perfect. Now does this all come out of here? Yeah. Um yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna set this. Yep. That peels right back. This is how we're going to do it now. Oh, yes. Yeah. Still, just to, you do it when it's steaming hot, huh? Yep. You just take it and just gently roll everything up together because now we have we have powdered sugar on the towel, and we'll roll this right up like this, and just set it over here until it cools. And now the next towel comes out. And we'll get this ready with more powdered sugar. For the next one. For the next cake, which we almost have prepared to go in the oven already. These take only about 13 minutes to bake. I took it out in 13 minutes. So you don't want it overbaked. It, it would be dry and then maybe crack on you. So. And I'm going to put a uh, the recipe in the description box right. in the video too, yeah. so they have the recipe. So now we're going to go do the next cake. Okay, we'll be back. That's the last one. The last one. Just kind of lay it on the edge of the towel, tip it over, and then she'll peel off the wax paper. See how beautiful? Quite simple. I know it seems daunting, but, uh, and good thing we're not working with Julia Childs. We'd never be able to get through this. <laughs> 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 We'd have to be redoing this thing 20 times. That's it. Just roll it up and... And there we are. That's the fourth one. So they go pretty quick. We'll finish cooling. Yep. This is our first one here. And it's getting nice and cool. We're going to make our frosting. So by the time we get it done, we'll be able to maybe unroll this and put the frosting in and get it on its tray. Oh, yeah. So if you wanted to make Christmas or Thanksgiving gifts, these are wonderful. People just love them. And in the store, they're even Walmart. They're expensive. They're, yeah, they're kind of expensive. And they don't taste as good as your homemade ones do, so. All right. Yeah. Pretty good. All right, well, we'll be back when we make the filling for them. There we are. We're going to start making our frosting. It's we're, uh, And we're doing enough for four, so I'll tell them what's, when we tell yeah. them what's in there. Yeah. We got four sticks of unsalted butter, 
and we've got 32, 8 times 4, 32 ounces. We got, which would be four 8 ounce blocks of cream cheese, and however much powdered sugar you put in there. I haven't yet. Uh, oh. We'll whip up the cream cheese and the butter first, and let's hope it's soft enough. Soft Let me enough. try it, or it's not quite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper time. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> this is going to get away from us. Yeah. I don't think this will fit in the microwave for a minute. Here, you want to? Yep. There you go. You can work on it for a minute. Okay. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I want you to get around it when it starts to soften. Yeah, it's going to start. It's... Okay. Well, they don't want to sit here and watch me do no. this, so let me turn the yeah. camera off. And when we're done mixing this up, friends, we'll be right back. The cream cheese nicely softened and whipping with the powdered sugar. Here, I'll let you... How much we're putting in because we're doing like a quadruple batch yeah. so I'll just single batch. yeah I'll put the uh, recipe in the description box for a single batch Correct. Yeah. so where do you get No, I like it. I, yeah. I, do you like it, Susie, or no? She's trying to decide. Yeah. Because it's, it's Oops. different. because there's so much in here. Yeah. Well, at least they'll know they can make a quadruple batch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what I did too when I made four. Oops, four did I fling it all over? Yeah. I'm terrible. She's never going to invite me back here again. <laughs> oh, yes. When I get done, it's usually out the, out the windows. Yeah, on the, the walls. walls. <laughs> I told, um, I told him in one of my videos, a good cook is a messy cook. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Yep, it does. Think that's good enough? Yep, I think that's going to just about do it. See how nice and creamy that is? Mm -hmm. we, we want the flavor of the cream cheese in the pumpkin rolls. Yeah, see that? Yeah. Nice and creamy. Nice and creamy. Should we mix this down in uh -huh. there? Yep. Fold it all in. Oh, yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. I could just grab a spoon. <laughs> that, that's our problem. You, you can tell we cook a lot. <laughs> yep. All right. All right. Let's see how... put the lid on here. Yeah. And there goes more powdered sugar. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the camera off, friends, because i got to move it to where we're... Oh, we're going to work over here? over here? Oh, yeah. well, heck, there we this go. This is still a little bit warm. We should probably wait another 10 minutes with that. Okay. So. Well, then we'll be back in 10. We're back. Okay, this is... What's this for? She's going to taste... I'm gonna, oh, oh, she's, she's going to be the taste... The yeah, test. she wants to taste it. The test taster. We're gonna unroll the um, the pumpkin roll now, very carefully. Still a trifle bit warm in the center. 
Sometimes they do split just a little bit, but we'll be real careful here. I, want to, I don't want to unroll too much all at once because I got a little split right there. So we got this soft enough where... Oh my gosh, is that ever nice. Yeah. I don't know if can you see that, how beautifully creamy that is. And, and we want it nice and thick in the roll because when you cut them, they're, that's when they're so beautiful. So I think... Just a, another couple minutes, and <clears throat> that'll be cooled down enough. All right. Okay, we'll be back then. Oh, uh, year before last when I made pumpkin rolls like this, and I took some to my daughter's for Thanksgiving. Her husband was home from Ohio. He drives truck out of Ohio. And after dinner, he cut the first piece, and, of course, it was about that thick, and he puts it on his plate, goes into the living room, comes dancing around in a circle back to the dining room and he goes oh this is stupid delicious <laughs> and he ate both pumpkin rolls i took up there in less than 10 days <laughs> he said you can't do that anymore <laughs> driving truck you know you're sedimentary so oh, yeah well let's see if we can get some of this on here and have it stay in one piece pretty much Gosh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. You want this? Is it like yours? Like you made? She, won't, she will not give up her recipe. Well, it's got to be close to this, so. They're all, they're all about the same. Some people have a little bit. Like we added a little pumpkin pie spice mm -hmm. instead of all that um, cloves. Because yeah. cloves can be overpowering. Just you spread it on there pretty thick? Yeah, I like it. I like it pretty thick. You'll see why here in a minute. But we'll be real careful not to crack it anymore. And hopefully we can roll it back up without cracks in on the top. But then that's why we have powdered sugar to go on the top because that's quite forgiving. And it hides the It'll cracks. hide the, a little bit of the crack. Didn't you make these for... The birthday parties for the girls one year? I don't remember, but over, I very well could have. Over to Calava? No, I oh, made, yes, I did. Yeah, and you know what else? I made the one year, I made the high heel uh, shoes for their birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember the little high heel shoe, cupcake shoes? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They're one year when our oldest daughter, her birthday's on Christmas Day. And of course, we've always kept it separate from Christmas, and she loved it because she got extra presents. <laughs> and we made a a Barbie doll cake. You oh know, yeah. The Barbie doll in the top, and then all the little rosettes of oh, yeah. frosting on the outside. All right, let's see if this is. Oh, I love decorating. Pretty good amount of filling. I think it will be. And the more you, like, we made four of them today, but. Um, the more you do of them, you get a little more confident in what you're doing, you know. So we're just going to carefully roll this up real slow. Oh, I feel it kind of cracking. Yeah, unfortunately, we'll have to eat this one, folks. <laughs> I'll take the first slice. <laughs> uh, but, you know, they may do that, and sometimes they don't do it. It might be still a little too warm. It feels cool, but... Um, yeah, that's okay, because when they, they can see yeah. something when it happens. Yeah, because... And don't panic, because, you know, just put extra powdered sugar on it. Oh, it'll, it'll not go uneaten because of that, that's for sure. It'll be just like Susie over here, hoping it cracks so she can have a piece. <laughs> yeah, you betcha. We'll put this... I think we're going to put this on a platter.
we have a little crack, but it's it's not lost. You know, I have uh, powdered sugar to sprinkle over the top. Do you want me to take that off? Yeah. You got a little spoon or maybe a little wooden That's spoon? in there. There is a cup in there. Now see, you can see a little bit of the filling, but this, you know, and it, <clears throat> as it sets, sometimes the powdered sugar kind of, just kind of goes, gets absorbed into the cake a little bit. But you can add a little bit more to it. So it kind of looks like snow, you know, for Christmas. And since we're in northern Michigan, perfect. We, we have a ton of snow. Well, it's 30 some now. And I think Miss Susie, Renee's daughter, wants to try a piece of this first. There's plates right over there, Susie. And then we'll show you what it looks like on the plate. <laughs> I guess we all have to have dessert. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to, uh, if I can, I'm going to take this up and I'll hold this. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, you know what, we got to, hold on a minute. Hang on, I'll be right back. She's got her plate, she's waiting. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that good enough? Oh, yeah. That's mammoth. <laughs> now, if these set, if these set for a day or so, you know, in a cool spot. Look at the inside mm. of that. Isn't that gorgeous? Hold My that up there. My taste buds are already dancing. Look how beautiful Look that is. Now, hold on, I want to get a picture of it. Oh, I won't take a picture of it yet. Hang on a minute. We'll be right back. It's like fresh, new fallen snow. That's gorgeous. That one never cracked or nothing. No, inside it cracked just a little. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Well, probably good enough. My little thing, my little makeshift tray is not quite big enough. That's perfect. All right, there, there we have it. That's the pumpkin rolls, friends. We don't have any holly or ivy or uh, pine trees, but we got Thanksgivings in our heart and looking forward to Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's been a fun day. Oh, yep. And Beautiful, this... lots of fun. Yep. Lots so... of laughter. Oh, yeah. Good times. Stories. Yep, stories. So and bloopers. You, and bloopers. <laughs> See how beautiful it is inside. And then when you cut that, if you let that sit, you know, for a day or so, if it gets to sit for a day or so. Yeah, that's the it, question. It's, the flavors mingo. And they're beautiful. Yep. Gorgeous. And they're not quite as hard as people would think. So Renee's going to... Oh, you Get a picture put, of that. Yep. Okay, friends, we are done. Thank you so much for watching.